When we talk about ultrafine gold, we're talking about very, very tiny particles of gold. And when they get extremely small in size, they do not have a significant amount of mass to create a gravitational bias for the concentration of these gold particles uh, in ores to make concentrates or for their extraction. So people have along the, 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 the uh, uh, path have, have tried to develop things like high gravitational force fields to do physical uh, concentration of ultrafine particles and those have only had very mixed success with only a partial recovery of ultrafine gold. So um, in addressing these problems, uh, it dawned on me one day with my chemical extraction background, the chemical extraction seemed like an ideal way of being able to approach the recovery of ultrafine gold from ores. The reason for that is that no matter what a gold particle size is, if it comes in contact with a liquid leach that has the ability to dissolve the gold, it will dissolve that gold. And once I take that gold into the solution, I can always filter that solution away from the ore and, and get the gold isolated from the ore. Once I have the gold into, an, into a leach solution, I can then do several chemical techniques to be able to extract that gold from the leach. So what I've done is over the years I have developed an economical acidified chlorinated leach that allows me to, to recover gold uh, fr from the ores by dissolution of the gold into this acidic leach. Once I have the gold dissolved into this leach, I can then filter that leach off, clarify the leach, and then I use a technique called solvent exchange. Solvent exchange is a technique whereby I use a second liquid that has a very unique property. Uh, it has a very high and strong affinity for collecting gold. So if I mix these two liquids together, the gold will transfer from the acidic leach into the uh, organic uh, solvent exchange chemical that I'm using. And once the gold is transferred over into that solvent exchange chemical, the solvent exchange chemical has a very unique property from the standpoint that it is of lower density than the acidified leach. And therefore, when I stop stirring these two liquids together, the solvent exchange chemical will float to the surface uh, of the solution like oil floats on water. And so I end up creating a tank that has two liquids in a bilayer uh, liquid strata. Once I have that condition, I can then drain the now barren acidified leach from the bottom of the tank and then trap the solvent exchange chemical within the tank. Now I have the gold into this solvent exchange chemical and the only step left is to be able to reduce that gold back out of that organic solution. So what I do is I introduce a second liquid chemical solution. And the property of this second liquid chemical solution it is it's known as a reducing agent. And the reducing agent contributes electrons to the gold ions that are trapped in the solvent exchange chemical. And once those electrons are given back to the gold ions, they're reduced back to the metallic form as gold atoms, and then the gold atoms all collect on each other and begin to nucleate and grow gold grains. Once the gold grains get large enough, they, get, they collect mass and they, they get heavy and they fall out of the solution. Once this process is completed, and I've completed the reduction step, I then stop and allow the oil again to float back to the surface and I can drain the reducing agent from the bottom of the tank containing the gold uh, particles that were formed and then I simply filter uh, and, and wash that gold powder and when I collect enough gold powder I can then take that and put it into a crucible and melt it and produce a liquid pool of gold metal and I take that crucible and pour the contents into a mold and cast a gold bar. Now the unique property of this process is that it produces gold of a very high purity, typically 99.9% .9 purity. And by doing so, I'm able to, to produce high purity gold bars uh, that, that are, is the desired product that we're after. And I can do this from many different types of ores and do it very successfully. Um, this is a very economically uh, uh, viable solution to use and process to use, and it's also environmentally very friendly.